Hi there students. Per se. Okay, this is Latin that means in itself, intrinsically, alone. So let me give you some examples. Knowing English grammar well, per se, is not a guarantee that you're going to speak English. So you can know English grammar well, but that doesn't on its own, by itself, mean that you're going to speak good English. You need to have good vocabulary, you need to have a good accent, you need to be able to use the grammar correctly while speaking. Okay, so the phrase, good grammar per se, does not mean that you are going to speak good English. Or maybe a vegetarian could say, it's not the taste of meat per se that I don't like. It's the idea of killing animals to get meat. So the flavour intrinsically is not a problem. But the real problem is that animals have to be killed to provide it. So per se, it's a good way of show of highlighting a problem. So one thing in itself per se is not a problem. The real problem is something else. So for example, the reason for the flooding, the inundation, was not per se itself per se the uh, cause of the flooding. It was the combination of the rain, the high winds, and the high tide, okay? So the rain by itself, intrinsically on its own, was not the problem. And if there had only been the rain, then there wouldn't have been the flooding. It's saying the combination of this is. It isn't that your English is bad per se. The problem is your pronunciation. It's why people don't understand you. Okay, so this phrase per se, it comes from Latin and means in itself, only focusing on that thing, the intrinsic quality of that thing, that thing alone. So, it is so, this place is not a good place for a party. It isn't the building per se, it's the fact that it is so far away from anywhere. So like this I'm saying the building intrinsically itself is fine, but it's so distant from anywhere that that is what makes the building a problem. Okay, so per se is focusing on one individual thing. Yeah, um, you could also maybe look at it the other way around. The problem per se is due to uh, various different factors combining. Okay, so focusing on it. But per se is very good to use saying one thing is not a problem per se. One thing is not bad per se. One thing is not good per se. But the problem, the bad thing, the good thing, uh, the real problem, the cause, is something else. So, per se. It's not that he's a bad, ma a bad chap, a bad bloke, per se. It's just that his way of expressing himself is so rude, is so unpleasant. So inside and internally he's really quite a nice chap but it's very difficult to deal with him uh, or to be with him because he is very rude in the way he speaks. Okay, So he's a nice chap per se intrinsically but bah, bah, bah. okay so per se the intrinsic qualities, the real qualities of something. Anyway, there you go, a nice piece of formal English, yeah, from Latin, per se, for or through or by, say, itself. 
So there we go. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye now. Per se.